one and a half thousand images and 50 gigabytes of data. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most advanced space observatory ever built, with its enormous cost of 10 billion dollars and unbelievable high-tech instruments. It promises to show us the darkest corners of our universe and the origin of our existence. So the expectations are high for this brand new eye in deep space. One of these expectations is the ability to capture light from celestial objects the right way. Launching Webb to space was of course an exciting event, but for scientists and optical engineers this is a pinnacle moment when light from a star is successfully making its way through the system down onto a detector. The first image capturing process began on February 2, 2022. The telescope was pointed at a bright isolated star in the constellation Ursa Major, known as HD 84406. This star was chosen specifically because it's easily identifiable and not crowded by other stars of similar brightness which helps to reduce background confusion. The telescope was repointed to 156 different positions around the predicted location of the star and generated 1560 images using near-infrared camera stand detectors amounting to 54 gigabytes of raw data. The entire process lasted nearly 25 hours, but notably the observatory was able to locate the target star in each of its mirror segments within the first 6 hours and 16 exposures. These images were then stitched together to produce a single large mosaic that captured the signature of each primary mirror segment in one frame. The images shown here are only a center portion, an enormous image with over 2 billion pixels. Webb's engineers needed to confirm that near-infrared camera, an IR cam, was ready to collect the first light from celestial objects and then identify our starlight from the same star in each of the 18 primary mirror segments. The result is an image mosaic of 18 randomly organized dots of starlight, the product of Webb's unaligned mirror segments, all reflecting light from the same star, back at Webb's secondary mirror and into NIR cams detectors. These initial results closely match expectations and simulations. The telescope's primary mirror is made of 18 hexagonal segments, but in order to act as a single optic, each of the segments must be aligned to within a fraction of a wavelength of near-infrared light, or 10,000 times thinner than a human hair. Through a process called wavefront sensing and control, the NIR cam instrument measures any imperfections in alignment of the mirror segments that prevent them from working as a single mirror. When the engineers needed to adjust the positions and shapes of the mirror segments to achieve precise alignment, they used the seven actuators or tiny mechanical motors attached to the back of each one of the mirror segments. For each segment, six of these actuators are placed into groups of two at three equally spaced points along the outside of the mirror to adjust the segment's position and one is attached to six struts that are connected to each of the hexagonal mirror segment's corners to adjust the segment's shape. The selfie was created using a specialized pupil imaging lens inside of the NIR cam instrument that was designed to take images of the primary mirror segments instead of images of space. This configuration is not used during scientific operations and is used strictly for engineering and alignment purposes. Moving forward, Webb's images will only become more clear, more detailed and more intricate as its other instruments arrive at their intended cryogenic operating temperatures and begin capturing data. The first scientific images are expected to be delivered to the world in this summer, in June or July. Though this is a big moment confirming that Webb is a functional telescope, there is much more ahead to be done in the coming months to prepare the observatory for full scientific operations using all of its instruments.